we all can agree that podcasting is a great way to engage students uh, in our courses um, outside of the course, and especially on mobile devices like iPods, MP3 players, and even cell phones. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can utilize your iTunes U sites that you have on your campuses to provide uh, course content to your students. So here I am at the, e, uh, the GCC website and when you, um, all students and faculty have an eGCC account and we use them to log into the computers on campus so everyone will know their eGCC um, username and password. Now once you log in what happens is the program iTunes if you have it installed on your computer will load up as you can see here and now I am inside of iTunes U but iTunes U is inside of the actual program iTunes as you can see here so all of this on the left side gives me access to the files that I have saved on my computer and then on the inside it gives me access to what's saved on the server for iTunes U now when I scroll down I can find the class we're gonna go into the English 101 class when we go in the course looks like this you see a little picture the class name and the instructor uh, usually there's a description there I guess I better get on that. And then you can set up different tabs that will have different content. And you can decide how you want the content to be arranged uh, when you set up your iTunes U account. So I have mine set up in modules. And then what a student can do is get the tracks from each module just by clicking Get. Uh, I don't have the subscribe button installed here. I don't think we have it turned on at GCC, so I need to get that switched over. But if there were a subscribe button by clicking Subscribe, anytime there's anything new added it will then download to your computer automatically uh, with just get tracks it just gets whatever's there and if I come in later and add something new students won't get it unless they go back and actually download it okay so what what you can see over here on the left side is that I've already um, clicked the get tracks button and what it did was it installed a Glendale Community College folder in my playlist and then these were the individual tabs in the folder so you can see in the first tab that I have a combination of these little book things and they're PDF files and then these little TV icons are videos. So if I click on a video it will pop up and play and students can watch it right on their computer or they can, uh, as I'll show you later, download it to their, to their iPod. Uh, for the PDF files, you can click on those and they open up an Acrobat Reader. Now you can't take these PDF files on the road with you uh, using iTunes. There's a way to do it, but not through iTunes. So, um, what I'm going to do now is plug in my iPod and then we're going to show how the iPod syncs. Okay, so I plugged it in. And there it is. So there's my iPod Touch. Pops up. And then as you can see across the top there are tabs. I'm going to scroll all the way over to iTunes U tab. And in the iTunes U tab you can see that I have one new item and 18 new items. And I want to make sure that I have it checked off so that it syncs with iTunes U. And then you can decide how many of these that you want to sync. I always say all unplayed. Uh, and then it will bring in everything that I haven't listened to or watched yet. So I'm going to go ahead and sync my iPod, which is already syncing right here by itself. And now we're going to go and I'm going to show you on the actual iPod what it looks like to be able to access this uh, course material. All right, so I'm going to show you how to access your iTunes U information or your iTunes U content. You saw on the computer how I synced with the iTunes U site. Now I'm going to go into music and then um, I click on playlists and then from playlists, oh, oops, go back. I'm going to click on the iTunes U playlist. So anything that can play will actually show up in here. So I can see the orientation video that was part of that first tab. And since it's a video, I'm going to turn it sideways. You can see that playing there. And then <laughs> all right, so then I can go back when I'm done and listen to the next item, which is a actual podcast.
So it's just audio. Okay, so that was a weekly podcast with no video, but anything that's either audio or video will show up in your playlist here. So sometimes it can be a little confusing if I click all the way back out of this and just click on the iTunes U, my content doesn't really show up in here. So I want to make sure that when I go in that I click on playlists first and then go to iTunes U playlist. And that's where I'm going to find my content. Now you can also find the podcast in the video area as well. So when you go back out of uh, music and click video, if you've saved your videos, there's the orientation video there. Here is a PowerPoint presentation that I recorded for my students as a supplement so they can listen to a lecture. So these are just PowerPoint slides with me talking over them. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what you can put on your iPod and how you can get it there.